Well, can someone tell me where did summer go? <laughs> uh, here we are, right into fall, right into moose hunting season. Now, moose hunting here, I think, is opening a bit too early now. You used to open the first week of October. Uh, now it's open, what is this opening day? I believe it's September 10th, somewhere around there. Uh, bow hunting season has been open two weeks prior. I have been out. I was out last Sunday in the woods, late in the evening, calling. No response. I don't really think they're really in the rut yet. Uh, and to be honest, I'm not going to shoot yet because it's currently now 20 degrees here now. It's going up to 24 tomorrow. But I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to scout around. I'm going to do some calling this evening, do some calling tomorrow morning. I do have my bow with me, so the temptation, if you do come out, is going to be great. But I got a trip planned first week of October. Me and the young fellow is going to come down for the full week and do a moose hunting trip. Hopefully the rod will be full on in, and it will be a good time. Now I do, this summer, like I didn't do a whole pile a lot, but I did do a week on the west coast. I'm currently editing that video, but <laughs> computers, oh my. I'll luckily have this video out before that one. So stay tuned. We're going to, like I said, do some con, some uh, scouting around, probably a few cabin repairs, some grow ups, and uh, just enjoy the trip down the cabin. Tag along. Well, while we wait for supper to finish cooking, I'm going to make sure my bow's on. Have a few shots. She's still there, yep. I always like to make sure that my rifle's on or my bow's on or not that I'm not, not that I'm going to shoot anything, but it's nice to get that practicing and make sure everything's good. So I was just into my buddy's cabin, and uh, his nephew was on the way in. He bow hunts too, and when he comes in, I think he wants to kill his animal now. So. I'm going to ask him to see if he wants to be in on this video, and uh, maybe we'll call in a moose for him. That would be even better. What a feed. Feed fit for a king. <laughs> Bacon was never the intended uh, for the menu this evening, but... I forgot my cooking oil, so it'll have to do. Anyways, I'm going to enjoy my supper. Right after this, I'm going to take a dart in to see if my buddy's going to show up. If he do show up and wants to be a part of the hunt, then um, he will be a part of the hunt, and hopefully it'll be a, a true hunt rather than just me scouting around. So, bon appetit. Oh. 
that was a feed. I'll probably need that after. <clears throat> oh boy. I think my eyes is a little bit bigger than my belly. Anyways, I'm not sure what time it is now. I eat supper early so I can. Uh, oh, cell phone. Let's have a look see. It is. 507. So, do a bit of scouting around. I haven't heard from the uncle yet. Uh, if he don't show up in time, I'll just do a bit of calling and whatnot and hopefully get him on video. We'll see what happens. So, have a fire later on. And if he's up for it, move something tomorrow morning. <sighs> I'm stuffed. <laughs> Skipper sounds like you got a bad leaf spring. I'll let things settle down now and uh, make a few balls, see what happens.
So anyway, the wind has switched around, full 180 at my back, blowing it over there. And the cabin over across the ridge and the lake, I don't know if you can hear it. They got the music up last. I heard the, the, the speaker when I connected to the phone, blue. Last time I hunted here, there wasn't so many cabin owners, I guess. Oh well. Let's move to a new location. It's getting on dark now anyway, so. My buddy said he can't make it in. He will be in the night. We'll chat tonight at the fire. And see if he wants to go on full hunt mode tomorrow morning. According to the way the flies are around me here now, there's no way I pull a trigger on that animal. So last time I was here, it didn't look like this. It's all cut over since the last time. Man, the flies got beat. But uh, as you can see, Used to trade from that pond and into the bog. And well, I was up on the other side of the bog, so. Now oh, everything changes. So next time, or well, when me and the young fella comes in a bit more serious than us, we'll be hanging around that pond. And the other side of that ridge, over, over there, shooting over there. I think it was my last video where I was scouting out. He managed to get the bike over there if he had to. That was not too bad to log. So, jeez, the blueberries are huge. It's nice to have a refreshing dessert on the way back to the bike. Well, not much of an eventful evening, um, or night for that matter. It's currently 12 o'clock, something like that there. And um, couldn't even have far. We had a bit of showers of rain and whatnot. Ooh, that was my phone. Anyways, because I can only get service up there, I really need a booster. Suggest one in the comments, good one. Anyways, it's currently, uh, 17 and a half degrees. Don't go by that time because it's completely wrong. It's 11.50. Uh, tomorrow morning's call for showers and 24 degrees. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna just get up and just scoot around. I'm not even gonna take the bowl because I know I'm gonna be tempted to shoot it if it comes out. So, see you guys in the morning.
this is I'd have me come up all with me. I'm just scooting around. It is currently to take a, a stop in this spot because this spot is really special to me for one good reason is well years ago before the increase of licenses and all the cabin owners got in there you I could walk in here anytime I guarantee you I'd see moose don't know what I'd see but I'd see moose and anyways me and the young fellow was down on that bog that I just came from <clears throat> and we were down there calling moose now this was his first his first hunt we seen two on the way in i believe with two cows i had a bull in relations anyways we were calling it on the bog for an hour or so and we turned around walked back and uh, as we we're walking past this cut over here there was mr bull anyways far the shot i knew it hit him and he went down disappeared so we waited give him time do what he was doing and went up and looked and nope couldn't find him. came down went back came down went back anyways <clears throat> we did we found him and he was so excited he got to see his first his first uh it was his first moose hunt so then that was the last moose i uh i shot so moose ain't here like they used to be still er, still early in the season yet yeah man. we got a few ducks here in the valley See if I can't get a video of them. I'll never shoot him here. 
but uh, unfortunately, opening day of the season, they won't be back here no more. Gotta love the outdoors. Let's go cook some breakfast. No generator this morning. I'm hooking up this bad boy. Listen to ours new for land show. Cook some breakfast. Oh. Homemade little outfit that I plugs right on in here. And we have power. God, I love the blue eddy. Well, I'll get her started there. After a nice good walk in the woods this morning. Get that on there. Man, I gotta say, it's some quiet without that generator going. This is the unit. Now if I can get a bigger one, with my solar panels, I probably wouldn't have to hear that generator no more. What a good morning. And this is going to be a dandy breakfast. I'm going to uh, eat this breakfast now. And, uh, oh, please, better than right there. I'm going to eat this breakfast now and do the dishes, do a few camp chores. I'll bring you along for that. But right now, I'm going to listen to the Irish Newfoundland music and eat my breakfast and I'll see you guys outside. I'm uh, one camp chore I gotta do is I gotta free up this here path and uh, it's a fairly big stick but if I got the tool for this so I get companies missing me all the time asking me to try different things and whatnot and I usually only pick the things that would be, in other words, what I would test out on a most everyday basis. And this company by the name of SmartSaker has sent me something that's going to help me out with that there. I've already tested it a fair bit, so let me show you. Dig down deep here in this backpack. Here we go. Saker chainsaw. It is quite the little unit. Let's see if we can do the job. So this here is probably a bit big for this saw. But, uh, and I've been using this quite a bit, especially yesterday. No footage, of course. Uh, just testing it out, seeing how it works. A uh, buddy of mine in the cabin inside, I showed him and he, he fell right in love with it. So let's set this camera up now and see if we can't get this out of the way. This is going to be a little bit big. I don't know if she's going to do it, but we're definitely going to give it a go. Put it to the test, right? See what happens. <laughs> oh, what a whip. 
wicked little, what a wicked little star. Oh, you know I'm gonna keep going. You know I'm gonna keep going. Now folks, look, that's black spruce. That's a fairly big stick for that little saw. So, all in all, I approve of this saw. This will be in my backpack. Uh, and I'll test it out the winter. That's when the true test will come. It actually won't go in my backpack, it'll probably go in my skidoo or the back of my quad for boil ups or things like this here, clean their trail. Certainly beats the old hands off. So I'm going to tag these guys down below. I'm going to put a website down there. You guys can go, go check them out for sure. Uh, they got all different kits. They just sent me just one battery charger and saw, but uh, I believe you can get two batteries, two chains, a saw, case, all that stuff. So yeah, 100%. Let's move on to another shore. Well, it wasn't calm for this. I guess my chores might have to wait for a bit. See what happens. Well, it doesn't matter that the weather wasn't ideal or it even rained. No matter which way you look at it, it's time well spent. Outdoors, at the cabin, just enjoying life. There will be a lot more moose hunting videos coming up, especially that week-long trip. And stay tuned for the week-long West Coast trip. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. And until next time, you guys, keep straying on her. Thanks for watching.